Good morning, YouTube. Happy Saturday. You guys are going to be seeing a whole lot of my face here on the tube for the next six weeks. So I am super excited to be here. Happy Saturday morning. If you're not up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Let me know where you're from. And we are going to talk about getting ready for the six week shred. So pop on, say good morning. For those of you guys who don't know me, it is Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. Um, super excited to be here today. Let's see here. All right, I'll just wait a few more moments for you guys to get these notifications that we're live. And as you guys know, I am starting the six week shred challenge on Monday, March 16th. So I'm personally going to be doing the shred. I am super excited. I know a ton of you guys are joining me on the shred and it is, hey, what's up, Pam? It is two days out for the shred, which means I have a lot of prep to do. Hey, Tati, starting the shred today. Wait till Monday so we can all do it together. Um, good morning, good morning. Hey, Hillary, what's up, babe? Delinas. Okay, guys, so bunch of things. I am so far behind, but the number one thing I'm going to be doing this weekend is cleaning and organizing and prepping and staging. So I'm going to start getting into the meal prep this afternoon once I just get my whole house like in order. So I have two days to get my shit together and I'm really excited about that. And if you are enjoying this live broadcast, please give it a thumbs up. Hey, Caitlin, what's up? Um, so I need your guys help for one thing. And I know the part of the shred that you guys all hate, but it's a necessary evil is what we all hate about the shred. We all hate taking those day one progress photos. No, no. Am I right? Am I right? Hello from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Good morning. I don't like taking the day one progress photos either, guys. I don't, but I need your help because I have some bathing suits and I brought them here and I wanted to ask you guys your opinion on which bathing suit I should wear for my progress photos. Last time I had like a sports bra and like bathing suit bottoms. And I feel like I wanna wear a bathing suit this time. So we have, these are all cup she bathing suits by the way. Okay, this one is like a sporty bathing suit. Pretty modest. Do I do this bathing suit? So these are the bottoms. And the top is just sporty. It's plain, but it's nice. This is the bottoms. This is the top. Pretty, pretty simple. So we could do this as my progress photo outfit. That's number one. Number two is this blue ribbed bathing suit. It still literally has the hygienic panty liner because I've never worn it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, shoot. All right, um, good morning, Betty, hello. So this is the second bathing suit. Now this one, um, I really like this material and this is not, a, I'm not trying to sell anything on here, I'm just asking your guys' opinion. It's got like this cute scrunching on the booty, which is nice. Now this bathing suit is actually a little tiny on me right now, which might be kind of good for progress photos because you can see myself get leaner on it and it's just like this. Like, you know, kind of like that. So that's bathing suit number two. And bathing suit number three. It's this florally bottom. And it's got scrunch in the butt. And it's got this yellow top. Good morning, good morning. For those of you guys joining and you're like, Christine, what the heck are you doing? I'm asking for your help to help me decide which bathing suit I should wear for my progress photos. So we got this one, we got this one. <laughs> because this is important, this is important. This is gonna be my whole series. The floral, okay, which one do you guys want? So these are the tops. So this top goes with this one, this one goes with this one, the black or the blue. Milford number three. You like the yellow floral one? Spring colors? Guys, help me, help me. You guys want the spring one, don't you? See, I kind of like this one 
you like number one, this one. I feel like this, because the thing is, I don't want, good morning, Samaya. I don't want, you guys want the yellow? You guys all want the yellow, you like the black? Eee! I don't want the bathing suit to take away from my progress. You guys all want to see the flowers, don't you? Yellow, yellow. Oh, shit. All right, so we'll see. The only thing I don't like about this one is like, it's a little wonky here, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You guys want to see this one? This is cute. Do all of them? <laughs> oh, man. So the thing is, I'm, I'll be honest with you guys. The reason I'm, I'm, I was leaning towards this one is because of these three bathing suits. This one is the most unflattering on me right now. This one is the most unflattering on me right now. And the reason I want to show you that is because as my body changes, you'll be able to see it more readily. Floral bottoms in the blue top. The black is sporty and it won't wash me out for pictures. Ooh, that is a good point because I am pretty pasty right now. And if I put this yellow against like my skin right now. Yeah, good point. All right, yellow is eliminated. Yellow is eliminated based off of that. They're all cute, agreed. So, okay, it's gonna either be this one or this one. I'm leaning towards the blue one though. To see, the blue one is, like I said, it's a little small on me right now. It's a little small on me right now. So like, you know, you guys know what I mean. The blue is ugly. But like I said, it's just gonna motivate me to get my shit together. So we'll see. So this is what you guys can be seeing. Do the blue one, you like the bottom. The bottoms are cute. Like it makes your butt look nice. I love it when bathing suits do this. Oh, you guys, you want a free tip? Coming from a king who needs to stay tanning, close your eyes and then choose one. Do you guys wanna know what else is interesting? If you ever wanna do this to your bathing suits, if, you're, if, if you ever wanna do this to your bathing suits, you can do this with like a safety pin. You can take any bikini bottom and like scrunch the booty yourself with a safety pin. All right, so that's that. All right, how about we flip a coin? Flip a coin? All right, so you're gonna be, you like solid colors is number two and it can be my motivation to get leaner. Um, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards the bathing suit that is the least flattering on me right now. So that way you guys can see the changes because you know, I got some things that need to get pulled in. All right. Uh, good point, Laura. Good, good point. So I'm doing a bathing suit this time. Um, last time I used a bathing suit bottom and a sports bra. So that's what's happening. Now to figure out which menu I'm going to do. I'm really on the fence, you guys. I'm debating about doing a Mediterranean shred. I want you to say the blue. I do. I actually do. Um, so I'm going to, I'm, uh, I'm debating between the Mediterranean, the original and the Latin. And because I have access, um, so that's going to be happening. All right. So now, now that that's out the way, um, I got my supplements ready, then blue, <laughs> just do the blue one. <laughs> got my supplements getting the house organized, getting these meals prepped. And I am going to do my progress photos, my measurements. Now, the last time I did a shred, you guys, I did measurements for you in the video and I showed you guys how I did my measurements. Do you guys want to see that? Because I'm actually going to do like a full out vlog. I'm not going to do a live for that. Um, so do you guys want me to show you how I do the measurements again, even though I already did it in another video? I'm happy to repeat the process, but um, okay, you guys wanna see how I do the measurements? Cool. Gotta find my measuring tape. I have a lot of cleaning to do. So guys, um, which shred is the most flavorful to me? I, I can make any of them flavorful. Um, I really like the Latin, I like the Mediterranean. Okay, I'm gonna go through the whole shebang, whole shebang, shebang, bang. Um, so what I'll do in that video is I'll do my measurements, I'll do my like day one like progress, 
and then I will show you guys the meals. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the meals. So I'm gonna be doing some substitutions. I know a lot of you guys had questions about substitutions and I think it would make more sense for me to pop on live in the Team Gage Girl Accountability Forum to talk about that more in depth with the folks who are doing the, um, the shred plan. Try on both and we'll decide. Actually, you know what, that's a good idea, Betty. Maybe in the video, I can put both, I can put both bathing suits on and then you guys can vote regarding which one you want me to continue the progress photos with throughout the rest of the journey. That could be kind of fun. That could be kind of fun. Um, so there's that. And last but not least, you guys, you know, I could not do a live broadcast without giving you guys some motivational spunk. So that was all shop talk. That's all good. That's great. Oh, one last thing. One last thing. This tea I'm loving. Green tea with coconut. Do I have any green tea fanatics here? You guys, OMG, I love green tea. I love green tea. This is from Harney and Sons. I got this from Target. This is like $5.99. I am not sponsored by these people. I just love it. And like, it's fancy. Look how fancy. It's got this like little thing. And it's got these fancy little things. The first place I discovered this tea was actually at a Barnes and Noble. It was actually at a Barnes and Noble and uh because you know how they have like a Starbucks center in there and oh my gosh it's green tea with a Thai twist so I don't like I don't like jasmine green tea because it's got this like weird like I like tea um I'm very particular about my green tea with coconut yes 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 uh you have some coconut too yes okay guys so there's that we talked about the bathing suit and what I would encourage you guys to do, so I'm gonna do obviously before and after photos, but I'm going to do like a 360 video of my progress and I am encouraging you to do 360 videos of your day one. So that way you can compare it to day 42. So do it with me and you guys are welcome to blog your journey, vlog your journey as well um, here on YouTube if you are so brave. So, all right, now what I wanna talk to you guys about is some motivational stuff. With this shred on Monday, you guys, I have this whole renewed sense of motivation because here's why. I am a huge advocate of the principle of reaping and sowing. And I know for a fact that you cannot reap the benefits of the things you want to achieve without sowing the seeds, without putting in the work, without showing up day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And guys, like, here's the thing. You can't avoid the process. Let me repeat that. You can't avoid the process. So if you're in this mindset right now where you're like, uh, Christine's shredding, that's cool. Yeah, I would love to be fit for summer too, but I'm traveling, I'm going on vacation, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I got a whole lot of things going on, guys. You can't avoid the process. You cannot go from here to here without doing all the shit in between. It's impossible. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is if you are in this mental place, if you are in this mindset, if you are in this place where you're like thinking that you can procrastinate, thinking you can put this off, thinking that if you avoid the reality of your current physique, if you avoid thinking about it, if you avoid it by continuing to eat out, continuing to drink, continuing to eat bullshit, continuing with your snacks, continuing with your Girl Scout cookies, continuing with your potato chips, continuing with your wine, continuing with your movie theater popcorn, continuing with your Netflix snacks, continuing with all of the above, and you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. If you think you can keep continuing with that and avoiding it and dodging reality you guys here's what I gotta tell you you can't avoid the process you can't avoid the work the work is inevitable 
the work is inevitable and the longer you put it off the longer it's going to take for you to get where you want to be you there's no way there's no way around it guys there's no way around it Do you understand what i'm trying to tell you there is no way around it so the further you walk away from accountability the weaker you become let me repeat that the further away you walk from accountability the weaker you become think about this if you're like ah oh, you know what I want to do that challenge, but I don't want to post my pictures. Man, I know I need to lose weight, but I don't want people in my business. Oh, you know what? Oh, guys, the further you walk away from accountability, the weaker you're going to become. Do you want to be this weak version of yourself? Do you want to continue to be this version of yourself with no strength, with no discipline, with no guts, no glory? No guts, no glory, guys. You got to be brave. You you got to stand up. And the thing is, you don't need to be some like amazing version of yourself that doesn't feel comfortable. All you need to do, guys, is be a better version of yourself than you were yesterday. So if you can't sprint, jog. If you can't jog, walk. If you can't walk, stand. If you can't stand, crawl. You can't crawl, roll. If you can't roll, then eat better. Guys, there is something you can do. And as humans, we are all capable of anything we put our minds to. We are capable of anything we put our minds to. So my question to you guys, my challenge to you is, how much longer are you going to put it off? What What's it going to take? Is it going to take for you to become diabetic? Is it going to take for you to have high blood pressure? Is it going to take for you to have a chronic illness? Is it going to take for you to just be unrecognizable to yourself and to your partner? Is it going to take for you to just get to a point where it's just so bad that you are setting yourself up for so much more work? Guys, here's the thing. You can't avoid the work. The work is inevitable. You cannot receive the rewards of a healthy, lean, fit body unless you take care of yourself. And why is it so hard to take care of yourself? Why is it so hard to take care of yourself? Because we're lazy. Real talk, we're lazy. We're entitled. We feel like we shouldn't have to. We feel like we want to be the victim. We are depressed. We have excuse after excuse after excuse. We maybe we're paralyzed in depression. Maybe you're paralyzed in your current pain, whatever pain is real for you. And you just don't, you can't muster the strength to take care of yourself because you gave up on yourself. And to those of you watching this right now who have given up on yourself, I gotta tell you something, don't do it. Don't take the bait. Do not take that bait of giving up on yourself. Here's why. The second you decide to give up on yourself, in my professional opinion, my professional, personal, all kinds of opinion, when you give up on yourself, You're already dead. You're already dead. It is the, the beginning of the end for you when, when you decide to give up on yourself. You might as well just like, and you can't allow yourself to throw in the towel on life. Guys, you have one body, one mind. You gotta protect it. Yes, you can use the cage coral collagen with that and yes you can continue with the heavy whipping cream guys take better care of yourself as humans we are capable of anything we put our minds to do you understand that guys we are capable of anything that we put our minds to and the only thing that's stopping us is accountability and planning those two things guys accountability and planning those are the only things stopping you and the reason i'm gonna preach this to you every day day after day after day after day is because it is that simple. Hey, Key, what's up? It is that simple. The 
further you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become. The two main ingredients to your success are accountability and planning. If you get into a groove with those two ingredients, you become unstoppable, my friends. Un freaking stoppable. And I don't care how much talent you have. I don't care if you have a thousand pounds to lose. I don't care if you have half of a pound to lose. I don't care where you're at in the spectrum. Accountability, planning. Hey, what's up, Mariana? Good morning. So guys, those are the two main ingredients for success. And as human beings, we are capable of anything. And I really want to challenge you guys to dig deep. I want you to get out of your funk. I want you guys to give up the excuses. We all have them. Give them up. Literally, for 42 days, you guys, you can give up your bullshit excuses. And you know what's crazy? And you know what's crazy? Um, the crazy thing is, 42 days, you guys, is not that long in the grand scheme of things. In 42 days, in 42 days, most of you will get your period once. In 42 days, like, you can't build a house in 42 days, you guys. You can't get a degree in 42 days. You can't build a baby in 42 days. You can't, like, there's, 42 days is not that long. But what it could do to your body will have a direct correlation to positively impacting the rest of your life. 42 days is not that long, my friends. It is not that long. If I took a seed and planted it in the soil today, how much growth would that seed have in 42 days? Depends on the plant. Depends on the plant. But there's no way I'm going to plant an apple seed today and expect an orchard in 42 days. It's not possible. So guys, stop avoiding the work. Stop avoiding the work. If you wanted to alternate shreds, which should you go with the keto shred? Um, I would say the Italian keto or the Asian keto or the dairy-free keto. The bloating is not going to affect your progress. Can you still add psyllium husk extra fiber on the shred? Yes, you can. Guys, I want you guys to start over for the last time on Monday. Start over for the last time on Monday. And what did I say were the two main ingredients, you guys? What did I say were the two main ingredients? Accountability. And what's the other one? Planning. Do you guys think I enjoy putting my shit out here? Do you think I really want to stand on YouTube in a bathing suit showing you guys where I'm at? Like, do I wish I was in a better place? For sure. Can you substitute deer meat for hamburger meat as long as the macros are similar? Yes. Um... But I'm doing it for accountability. I'm doing it for accountability. And we're here now. We're here now. You can't beat yourself up about the past. All you can do is improve. And we're going to do it together, you guys. We're going to do it together. So I'm off my soapbox. Who's got questions? Now's the time to ask them. Who's got questions? I have a few moments for live Q&A. You want to purchase the collagen. The collagen is not vegan or vegetarian friendly key. However, the whey isolate is. Appreciate. I'm so glad that you're here, Ms. Toy Barbie. What can you substitute coffee with? Green tea. And you don't have to drink the coffee, you guys. If you're not a coffee person, you by no means need to start. Any other questions? You guys all make sure that you get inside the Team Gauge Girl accountability forum. Um, if you're doing the shred challenge on Monday and also make sure you purchase the 999 shred challenge access pass. I will be doing some special trainings in the private Facebook group. I will be announcing them in the group regarding substitutions and things of that nature. You love some good tea. That's awesome. Yeah, I am a tea fanatic as you guys know. Well, here's another good one. See, do you, I like tart. This is another good one. Is red zinger. It's very tart. How do you get the pass? Um, you could do a search on the website. Just type the word challenge in the search and the pass is 9 dollars 
Once you purchase the pass, will you get the invite? You can do a search on Facebook for Team Gage Girl Accountability Forum. You cannot find the access pass. So what you need to do is go on the Gage Girl Training website and type the word challenge into the search bar and the six week shred challenge will come up. And actually, Pam, if you're still watching this, if you're still watching this, Pam, do you mind pasting the uh, challenge pass link in the comment section? Thank you, love. Um, after, well, I guess wait till I publish the video and then put it in the comment section. Taste buds crave when you're not even hungry. Tips, drink water, drink tea, brush your teeth. Chia flaxseed be allowed? Yes, as long as you stay within your macros for the day. Um, that should be fine. That should be fine. Life of T. Roche. So Jessica, if you want to participate in the challenge, you will have to start over from like day one. Any advice for sugar crashes? Um, change your meal timing. Have protein with every meal that's going to slow your body's, this is gonna slow the glycemic index response and having more um, complex carbs as opposed to simple carbs. That'll definitely help um, with that feeling and having proteins and fats with every meal that's also going to slow the uh, sugar crash process. So guys, gonna sign off. I got a ton to do today. I will be back here tomorrow morning giving you guys an update and we will have videos all week talking all things shred so thank you guys for your tips on the bathing suits what about it works black coffee is it allowed i don't know what's in that coffee but as long as there's no calories that's totally fine thank you guys have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye